Hello, Yarna Bees. It's Sandy. How are you doing? Uh, today, I have a few things to talk to you about. It's going to kind of be a mismatch of things. So, yes. Okay. What should we start with? <laughs> I'll wait and do that in a minute. <laughs> I have some exciting news for me, <clears throat> me and George, but you may not be interested in it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, I had told you guys before that I have a new treadmill. I have decided that enough's enough. I have to lose this weight uh, and try and get myself into better shape. I The way it's looking, I don't think that we're going to be able to paddle again this year because of covid uh, we're supposed to start again in April, the end of April. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, January, February, March. Yeah, April. Um, and then our first race was supposed to be in May. So uh, I don't think that it's going to happen. Thank you, COVID. Damn it. Um, so I haven't done anything for about a year and a half because I had foot surgery last Christmas. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, and also because of COVID, we couldn't paddle, right? And we couldn't do any bowling or anything, which really sucks. Um, and so our fitness level, well, my fitness level has gone, right? I mean, it wasn't great to begin with, right? But it's just gotten way worse. And I've noticed that when I don't do any activity at all, my back hurts even worse. So I've decided that enough's enough. Uh, I got to do something and we got a treadmill. Uh, at this moment, George is using it more than I am. <clears throat> uh, we've only had it for a few days and he does an hour at a time. <sighs> nice. <laughs> but, but he goes for long walks. He does this, these hills, like massive hills that or um, in our area and he takes the dog it's great you know Bailey just loves it but I can't do that right and especially now with my foot the way it is it's just not good so I I did a half an hour on no I did uh, 10 minutes on the treadmill the first day and my foot was killing me but stupid me I wasn't wearing any shoes hello uh, so the next day I was wearing my comfy shoes that have a lot of cushioning in them and I did half an hour. Yay me. So, um, so I was talking about it on my vlog, last vlog, vlog before, anyway, must've been my last vlog. And, uh, uh, one of my yarny sisters out there had made a comment saying that maybe I should check out this thing <clears throat> that she was talking about. And I went, hmm, never heard of it before. So I did. I checked it out and I joined. It is called the Conqueror Virtual Challenge. Oop. Ah. There it is. Okay, now... What it is, is there are virtual challenges that you can do. You can walk, you can bike, you can do cartwheels. It's like you can do whatever physical activity you want. And they have something on here that can help you translate it into miles or kilometers. So <clears throat> you pick a challenge, right? And they've got tons of challenges. They have the English Channel, the Inca Trails, Mount Everest, Mount Fuji, the Giza pyramids, um, the Ring of Kerry. I mean, the list goes on and on. Alps to the ocean. To ocean. Uh, oh, that's neat. That's new. Hmm. Um, they have a ton of different challenges that you can do. And what it is, is you pay for the challenge, right? And it's like $30 or $29 or something. And when <clears throat> you do... Your, say for me on the treadmill, I log how many miles I do on the treadmill or kilometers or whatever. 
and I log it into the app. And it tells you where you would be, say uh, right now I'm doing the English channel, right? So it tells you where you would be in the English channel if you were actually there doing it, right? It will give you a 360 kind of uh, photo of the area, which is really cool, right? So it will tell you exactly where you are there. Uh, it's 21 miles long, right? So once I hit um, the 21 miles, I get a medal. I get an actual medal, okay? And this is, whoops, this is what the medal looks like. How cool is that? And you can see over here, it, that's the progress like from one side of the channel to the other. And it tells you exactly where you're going and where you are at that time. Now, because I, George and I are both competitive, this is perfect because we get a medal at the end. And George and I are all about the medals, right? When we're paddling, it's like, do or die, man, we're going to go and we're going to get that medal, <laughs> right? And we just go all out and I suffer terribly afterwards. But um, this, I can do at my own pace, right? George obviously will get his medal way before me because he's George and he is doing his a lot faster than me. Uh, I'm just doing what I can. Like yesterday, I could only do 15 minutes um, before I was really feeling it, right? So, but that's okay. Uh, I, you put, you can write down how long you think it's going to take you, right? You got up to 18 months, I think it is, to finish the challenge, right? Um, it could take you a week. It could take you three months. It doesn't matter, right? So I said three weeks just to be safe, right? So, um, yeah, I, I'm starting to log it and I can't wait to get to the end. But then another thing that I really like about this is it breaks it down. You can see right here, all these little pit stops, it breaks it down into 20% segments, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, a hundred. After every 20%, that you finish, they will plant a tree. So at the end of this challenge, there's five trees that will be planted because I finished the, uh, the challenge. I think that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Another thing that you can do, you've got two options. You can either pay the $29 for the challenge and the medal, or you can pay, I think it's $59 for the challenge, the medal, and a t-shirt that says the English channel, I conquered the English channel, right? So I think that's so cool. <laughs> um, I'm not going to get the t-shirt for all of them, but I've kind of picked out ones that I do want the t-shirt for because, you know, I want the recognition. Uh, but the medals are just going to be great. George actually gave me um, a metal rack for Christmas. And it's, um, I'll, I'll post a picture. Uh, it was so sweet. And it was just, oh, my heart, I cried. It was just, it was, a, it was such a loving gesture. Because our medals right now are hanging on a lamp. <laughs> in the office. Um, we have nowhere to really hang them. And he's got a lot of medals. Excuse me. He's got a lot of medals because he's been paddling longer than me. So I have like four. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to get another one of those racks as well. And I'm going to put my paddling medals on one and I'm going to put my conqueror medals on the other. So it's going to encourage me to continue to keep going. So I'm really, really excited about this. Thank you so much to my Yarny sister for, for um, suggesting this. 
uh, this is perfect. And this isn't the only one. The Con Conqueror is not the only one that's out there. I've seen um, at least three others virtual challenges out there that have totally different medals. So it's really neat. But uh, if you're interested and if you're physically able to do something like that, they've even got um, wheelchair exercises and stuff on there that you can do. You can hook it up with either a Fitbit or something like that, and it will just automatically log into the um, into the the app, or you can do it manually. So I think that's perfect, you know, especially for people that are in a wheelchair or that have real bad mobility problems that just need to get moving right and want to do something um you know even if that means getting one of those um pedal things that sit on the floor i've seen them on tv and just doing that just pedaling right uh and it, all you're doing is you're just sitting there and you're just pedaling it's kind of like a recumbent bike but it's in your own chair right so um that even that works so I, I really encourage you guys to go and check this out because it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm totally pumped. I'm totally pumped for this. So, and the medals are gorgeous, gorgeous. If you look up on YouTube, um, the Conqueror Virtual Challenge, you'll get a list of people that have already done the challenges and they're opening up their medals. And trust me, when I get it, you guys will see it first because I will open it on um, on video because I'm going to be so excited. I may even do a happy dance. <laughs> so, but the funny thing is, is since I, since I've been doing this, I've already lost two pounds. What? <laughs> you know, so that made me so excited. Um, <clears throat> I ordered a few things on Amazon. One being the eyes, the 30 millimeter eyes uh, for the Mr. Perzalots. They're pretty big. Uh, I finished, when well, I didn't finish, but I mostly finished. I just have to do the tail for the second Mr. Perzalot. Don't like the eyes. Actually, I don't even like this Mr. Perzalot. I am totally... <laughs> totally bummed about this Mr. Purse a lot because it doesn't look like a Mr. Purse a lot. It looks like, okay, to be honest, when I started doing this, I finished the body and I'm, I kid you not, it looked like the Mr. Pooh or whatever the hell a, the emoji is. It did. It looked like a, a poo. <laughs> I was so upset. I was so upset. And then I was like, okay, just put the ears and eyes on it and everything will be fine. I put the ears, eyes, nose on it. I haven't put the tail on it yet. And it looks like a freaking mouse. Look at this. It does not look like a purse a lot. It looks like a mouse. Oh, devastation. I've, I thought for sure when I did it in these colors and in this yarn, in the Huga yarn, that it was going to look like fur. Oh yeah, it looks like fur, but it's a mouse. <laughs> the ears are rounded. The eyes look like a mouse. Like I'm just, really, I'm just so devastated. I'm so devastated I could cry. This is a lot of work to put into something and not have it turn out. It's cute, I guess, but it's not a Mr. Purse a lot. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Does that look the same? Mm-mm. <sighs> so I'm going to do the tail and i don't know call it mouser or, or something i don't know <laughs> I, i'm just i'm just a wreck about this anyway 
So I don't know how Crystal did it to make these eyes make it look like a cat. But the ears weren't pointed. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if it's the yarn or what. But yeah, I was not happy to say the least. Uh, I did get some other eyes as well. These are 20 millimeter. These are quite a bit smaller, but they are just the plain, just the plain, like clear eyes. So yeah, I'm really bummed about that, but it's, I guess it's still cute. So yeah, whatever. Say la vie, right? Live and learn. I just won't do those colors again. It did. It looked like a poo. I told, I looked at George and I says, it looks like a poo. <laughs> I says, it's poo mouse. It's a poo mouse. <laughs> And he just started laughing. He thought that was hilarious. And I was just, I was almost in tears. I was like, not happy. <laughs> so it's a poo mouse. Um, I got these hooks on Amazon. Not sure how I feel about them, but we'll see. They are uh, double-sided hooks. Oops, come on. Here we go. They're double-sided. So, yeah. So there's like, this one is a 7.5 millimeter on one side and a nine on the other. Right. Um, it go <laughs> yeah, it goes right down to a four um, 0.6 or four on one side, six on the other or whatever. It's weird how they, they decided to number these, but, um, it's going to be interesting using these. The handles are like a plastic. So I'm not, oops, I'm not thrilled about that. I thought they were going to be rubber, but yeah. So there you have it. Uh, I may or may not put the link down below. But if you just look up crochet hooks, well, I'll see if I can find it. I, cause I, I can do it on the Canadian side, but I don't know if I can find them on the U S side. So, but I'll check it out and see, <clears throat> but I thought they were neat. I thought they were unique having two crochet hooks on either side. So I'm, I'll try them out and see how they are for the bags that my sister makes. I have tassels on them and the tassels have this beautiful metal piece on them. If you haven't seen them, um, I can't get them anymore. Like I can get them, but the, there isn't as many colors and it takes a long time to get them and they're pretty expensive. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided to change it to these tassels, which are still really pretty. Uh, and you can get so many more colors. So yeah, I got two packs and oh, whoa. so I'm going to start getting the bags together because my sister just made, oh, I don't have the bag in front of me. My sister made a whole bunch of bags and I've just been busy doing other stuff and I just haven't got to get them going but I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put them up on the coin creations, um, Etsy page. <clears throat> but when I do get them done, I think that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get them finished and, um, and get them up in the Etsy store. So I will leave the coin creations link down below. Um, there is some towel toppers in the Etsy page already. They are ready to go. So you can go check those out. Uh, oh, and my sister's making these awesome little bags. I don't have those either. Uh, but she's just going crazy making these little drawstring bags. And she, what she's doing now is she's 
making packs where she's doing a one of the baskets and a drawstring bag to go with it in a pack, right? So it's really kind of cool. <clears throat> so yeah, so there's that. Uh, okay, so now I've got, I got uh, an order from Premier. It's a very small order, nothing big, no big deal. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've gotten these before. Do I have them up here? Yes, I have them right here, over here. And I have them in a couple of colors. Um, it's the Premier Serenity Chunky. And this is the same color that I have over here. They were on sale. They had three packs on sale. Um, these are 100% acrylic, 109 yards, 100 meters. I love this yarn. I think I made a sweater in this. And I love it. But they had this color and now they're sold out. I just went back yesterday and I was like, oh, I really like this color. <clears throat> I was going to get some more. But they were all sold out. Bummer. Um, oh, this color is... Holy cow. I have my glasses here. Hang on. Oh, come on. Okay. So this color is Stormy. They still have Stormy on the website. And this color is Amethyst. Isn't that pretty? I should have got more. Ugh. So I got three of the Stormy. Nope, sorry. I got six of the Stormy and six of the... Um, the no, six of the Stormy, six of the Amethyst. Yeah, holy cow, I need more coffee or something. I have had a friend that I had for 25 years. Um, we were joined at the hip. We did everything together. We were best of friends. Um, yeah, we met in high school and her and I had a massive, massive falling out uh, <clears throat> a few years back. And it devastated me for quite a long time. And it made me not trust anymore. Um, so anyway... When my husband, Scott, passed away, we reconnected and <clears throat> it was not a, re good, a really good connection. Um, it was, yeah, it wasn't good. So we split apart again. We, we, and it was just the one day and then it was like pff, done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so anyway, uh, a few days ago, um, I got a private message and it was her. We started talking. She told me that she was diagnosed with MS. So we've been talking for the last few days and uh, trying to reconnect again. Um, and so far, it's, it's going okay. I'm still pretty guarded, but, you know, it is what it is. I think she just needs someone to talk to. She's scared. And the first person she thought of was me because we were, we were, we had such a thick bond. Um, and maybe she thinks I'm the only one that can help her through this other than her husband. Uh, I don't know, but. She, she has entrusted me um, with, with all of this and, and she's really wanting to reconnect. So I thought, okay, <clears throat> fine. And 
So we started talking about stuff and I told her, you know, I have a YouTube channel and I'm, you know, I got this business, I guess, called Crochet Canada. And uh, when she, when her and I were friends, I didn't crochet, right? Like I hadn't got into crochet yet. So um, she was pretty shocked and she was like, wow, like that's pretty cool, right? And I was like, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. It just kind of happened, <laughs> you know. So anyways, she was saying, oh, wow, I should get you to make me a shawl or whatever. So me being the big hearted person I am and going, you know, yes, I will do that. So um, she she kind of asked me, but didn't ask me. You know what I mean? Uh, so I thought. You know, I'm going to do it because she's in a wheelchair. She's in a, a motorized wheelchair. And I thought, you know, this would be really good for her uh, to put around her shoulders and keep her warm. And um, so I've decided to make her a pocket shawl. And this pocket shawl is taking me a while because uh, it's it's all like it's mostly bean stitch. Right. And. The yarn I'm using is taking, it's, I'm using a thin, well, they both say that they're size four, or a four weight, but they're really not. Oh, don't tell me we've got company. Um, but it's actually turning out really pretty. Uh, here, I'll show it to you this way. So it's actually turning out really nice. So I did 300 stitches long and then I'm going to fold up the pockets. So it's, it, this one's taking me a bit of time. I'm taking my time with it uh, because of the bead stitch. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's really pretty. Um, I am using the Premier Anti-Pilling every day. And this, this yarn, it says it's a four, but it's, it's a thin four. It's a thin four. Okay. Uh, but it's, I love the heathering in it. I just, I love that. Uh, the, it just makes it look so nice. But it's called Gray Marble. Okay. Isn't it pretty though? I just really like that. And then I'm, just, I'm using the yarn that Sandy gave me. Sandy Duda, left is right crochet. She gave to me in um, one of my 25 gifts for the seasons of new beginnings. And this is this, I love this yarn print, which is my absolute favorite uh, yarn in the I love this yarn it's the print uh, if I could have my whole room in all of the colors that this comes in I would so do it I just love this yarn so much they the name does it justice uh, so this I mean I'm sure all of you already know about this yarn but I'm just so excited about because we can't get it in Canada uh, it's 100% acrylic and it's a medium four. Uh, it's 252 yards, 230 meters. And it is... The color is just called 700 gray black. <laughs> Love this. Um... I just, I, I didn't realize when I started this at how well these two were going to go together, but it is stunning, like stunning. I love this so much. So that's what I'm doing for that. Uh, I'm about, I don't know. 
three quarters of the way done ish it depends i'm gonna try and use as much of these two as i can um and see how how thick how wide i can get this to be whoops i think it's going to be really nice for her for um in the spring because it's kind of got holes in it so uh yeah i think it's going to be really nice for for the springtime she doesn't get out very much um so i'm really hoping that you know even if she goes out you know in her deck or whatever like it'll keep her nice and warm okay i think that's all i have to tell you guys for now <laughs> i will do a short video when i get the bags done to show you what they look like uh before i put them up on the etsy page and um yeah okay i'm gonna go i love you guys so much and i will talk to you later bye